up guys Josh here so this is my second uh, video on my uh, press break wanted to let you guys show you guys my progress I've been making so last time uh, my first video I was just kind of showing you guys the mechanics of it how everything was gonna work but uh, I found there was a problem with it and my uh, my actual guides were not in alignment on my cam so the holes were literally off like a eighth of an inch that royally screwed up the alignment and just uh, it was just a mess so I scrapped those out, cut new new tabs, welded those all in, and when I even welded them in, I actually uh, threw my uh, my pin through with my bushing, tacked it up, tacked it up, and we went really slow just to make sure that things didn't want to pull out of alignment. So I'm, I'm I'm very happy with the way it is now. I got my uh, hydraulic mounted in, so as my cam pivots. This should actually level itself out so all pressure is in a full alignment at its at the, the bottom point. Uh, check out my controls though. So I got my uh, got my pump, I'm starting to hook up now. Uh, bought a bunch of the parts from uh, Northern Tool. Again, I wanted to make sure to build this thing off of stuff that was readily available. I figured if Northern Tool had it, I could order any part I should be able to, any part I want. Uh, of course, I could always go to a you know, hydraulic or fluid uh, you know, a company where these guys, you know, that's all they do is buy specialty parts, but I'll probably be paying a premium for a good product. But again, I wanted this thing to be, you know, readily available parts. So that's a five inch cylinder up there, 18 inch uh, stroke on it. Now check out my controls. So this is what I thought was just cool as hell. Well, let's take a little trip because you guys are actually on top of my table right now. So I found this pedal. I'm gonna go with a 120 volt solenoid uh, solenoid uh, valve. So I found this uh, con this pedal from SNS con SSC Control Company. I've purchased other TIG pedals from them before. Nice company, really easy to work with. But it's a two uh, it's a two position uh, uh, it's a two pedal uh, system. It comes pre wired so. Basically, one could be up, the other pedal could be down, but you cannot push both at the same time. It actually cancels them out. I actually did a rig up and I tested it. So I actually hooked up a light fixture to this thing just to make sure uh, that it actually does do that. Of course, I had two light fixtures. One lit up uh, when you hit one pedal, the other one lit up when you hit the other pedal. But uh, I was also trying to work on my controls for this thing. So here we go, guys. Going for a walk here. This was what I found for my, uh, to do uh, repetitive bends. This is actually, oh, here I'm trying to do this with one hand here. I actually purchased two, uh, this actually I got from a salvage company, but it was just a, obviously it was a limit switch. So I was like, oh yeah, it was cheap as heck. I figured if this thing came, click down, but this is not meant to be pushed straight down. It's meant to have a roller and a, some type of guide that comes this direction and clips it and pushes it and disconnects it. So I was having a hard time. I didn't want to mount. I didn't want to mount a limit switch off the ram. I thought that might be a little little, little more inconsistent. It all depends on the precision of the of the actual switch now. But what I thought to myself was, well, heck, I got a four to one travel ratio here. Let's see if you get better lighting here. That cam moves four times more than the actual uh, RAM does. So for every one inch that travels, this thing travels a quarter inch approximately. Now, I figured if I could put a switch up there, I could really fine tune the hell out of this thing and really get this the RAM to get exactly where I want it to go. And then that's where I found this. This is called a wobble stick. So the wobble stick, let's see if I get you a little better here. The wobble stick actually clicks no matter what direction, and it's a fully spring-loaded. So I thought, well, there you go. Not bad. Again, if I'm a 4 to 1 ratio here of travel from top to bottom, why wouldn't this thing work? Obviously, it's more. it should be more accurate on top. That was my theory. So that's where I'm going to actually place this thing up here so the cam would actually clip it, click it on, click it off, go from there. Other than that, guys, next, obviously, you can see I've been rigging up my uh, my, my uh, motor and my pump, 15-horsepower motor. 
I should be running, oh god, I can't even remember off the top of my head now. I should be running about um, 8 gallons a minute out of this thing, which then reduces down, obviously, with the 4 to 1. If I get 18 inch stroke here, this is only like a 5 inch stroke here. It then get, really gets it down to, I should be running, my ramp should be running at about 3 eighths per second. So, guys, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. <laughs> but I appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, well, there's not much to like. I mean, but guys, if you if you appreciate it, give me a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'm here to try to share my channel, try to share, uh, you know, crazy concepts and ideas. And pretty much that's why I'm on YouTube, to try to find the same. So, guys, share the love, share the knowledge. Later.